Hey everyone, welcome back to A Better Computer. My name is Matt, and today I want to show you a quick tour of Hey World, which is a new writing engine, I'm going to say. It's kind of a blogging engine, kind of a newsletter thing uh, from Basecamp, the makers of Hey Email. And so I'm going to break it up into a couple parts today. I'm going to go pretty quick, but I wanted to kind of give a first look at how this service works. So first off, I'm going to explain what the service is and why Basecamp says it exists. I'm going to show you how it works from the publishing side as well as the reading side. And I'm going to explain who I think this is good for at the end. So let's jump right into it. So first off, why does Hey World exist? Uh, basically, the concept of this is that Blogging in 2021 is easier than it's ever been. However, it's still a bit of a struggle to get people over the hump to doing it. And so the idea is that what if you were able to blog from your email app, right? So you use Hey to write emails. You use it all day. You write emails, you write tons of those. You send them off to people and they read them and they send stuff back, right? That's just email. That's not super exciting. But what if you could write an email and send it to the world? That's the idea of Hey World. And so it is... An interesting concept, uh, but basically at its very core, it's meant to be an easier way to blog with fewer options, with fewer controls, but with an easier setup process, just getting you going from zero to something published in less time. So let's take a look at how it works. So this is a post I did earlier today, and you can see it's just a basic blog post, right? I've got some styled text, I've got links out to other websites and all that good stuff. And then at the bottom, there's a form where if someone like this, they can subscribe via email or they can grab the RSS feed and subscribe in whatever RSS app they want. Feedly, Reader, Unread, there's a million out there. So this is my Hey inbox or inbox, I guess. And I just wanna go to write a new email. And so I go to two and I write world at hey.com. And you can see the UI changes when I select that. It's highlighted in blue and purple. And then I get this cool shadow behind really indicating that I'm not doing a normal email. This is a blog post. And so I can just do like, uh, this is a test post. There we go. And then I can put something in the body. So I'm gonna delete my signature because I don't need that for a blog post. I'm gonna go over here and pull in a header image and then say, this is a test post for the video. Oops, there we go. And so that's it. Uh, so that's all you need to do. I can style the text, of course, do whatever I want there, but I'm just gonna send the email. So there we go. So I get a preview of what it looks like. I can make edits to it after the fact, or I can delete it. And then I can see up here, I can see it's live on the web. So if I click that, I go over here, there it is with the image and everything and I can email it to my one subscriber. So RSS readers will get it right away, of course, because that's how RSS works. And if you wanna email it out to people, which I'm not going to because this is a test one, <laughs> you can just hit this and it's gonna email it out to all of your subscribers. I only have one subscriber myself, but hopefully that'll go up in the future. Uh, but yeah, I can go ahead and do that. And so if you wanna treat this like a blog, you can just be done right now. Or if you wanna treat it like a newsletter, you can email to your subscriber and they get it right away. Now, if I go back to my blog post, I can see this one here. And if I click on my name, I can see a reverse chronological list of posts. So this is what your readers are going to see. They're going to be able to see everything that you published to this service in the order that you published it. And again, subscribe from here. So it's really like a regular old blog. It's just more limited. You'll notice there were no customization options. There were no analytics you could enter. There were no ads you could do. There were no themes you could install. It's all going to look the same and run the same for everybody. So really Really the only difference someone else is going to have when they use Hey World is they're going to have a different profile picture here and a different name. That's it. <laughs> and so that's really the idea of Hey is that it's not the place you're going to go to have the most customizability. It's not the place you're going to go to push ads and be able to make a ton of revenue from this. It's supposed to be an easy way for you to be able to publish words online. And so using something you're already familiar with, if you're a Hey customer, you're familiar with writing emails in there. And the idea is that it'll be easy for you to transition to using it as a blog editor. And so whether that's true for you or not is really, you know, on a personal basis. <laughs> but for me, it's actually probably too simple. I actually value having a site that I can go to. If I load this up, you can see this is my own personal site. Uh, I've got articles of the year so far where I'm able to style it how I want. And maybe you like this more, maybe you don't. Uh, that's really up to you. But I kind of like how this looks uh, myself. Uh, I don't dislike how this looks, but it's just not customizable. It's not immediately noticeable that this is my website. Uh, and so for me, that's important. For you, that may not be important, uh, but this is kind of what they offer. And again, the advantages here are that it's super fast because, and it's gonna be a little slower right now because I'm recording my screen, but it's really fast. 
fast because there's no JavaScript, there's no custom CSS, like there's the minimal stuff here. So it's loading really, really quickly. And so that's really nice from a reader's perspective. So is this for you? I can't say. <laughs> I can tell you it's not really for me. I value the customizability that I get from a more advanced blogging engine. But if you're looking at this and saying, hmm, I don't have a blog today, I do have a Hey email account, and I would like sometimes to write something longer than a tweet or write something that looks nicer and has more customizability than I can get on a Facebook post or something like that, this would be a really good place to start. And if you like it and you get some momentum and you start to love writing online, you can go ahead and do something more. You can publish elsewhere. You can create your own blog using WordPress, Squarespace, Ghost. There's a million options out there. But yeah, I think if you're trying to get started writing online, it's a pretty decent option. Uh, and yeah, like I said, it's a pretty clever way of doing it. Including it in your email editor is a pretty clever thing I wouldn't have thought of myself. So yeah, uh, kudos for creativity at the very least um, and a pretty nice feature to have on top of your Hey email service, which in my opinion, I've said a million times, I feel like is just a great service I really love. So that is a first look at Hey World uh, from Basecamp.